In the book of Matthew chapter 23, we have Jesus talking, and uh, he, actually he's a little bit ticked. He's, <laughs> that's, that's the uh, technical theological term for it. He's a little bit ticked, and who he's ticked off at is uh, perhaps a little bit surprising. He's ticked off at the religious teachers and leaders, uh, and uh, it's because of their hypocrisy, really. That's the problem. Hypocrisy in leaders. And so here's what we, uh, uh, in uh, Matthew chapter 23, starting in verse 2, Jesus says, the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees are the official interpreters of the law of Moses, so practice and obey whatever they tell you, so he's giving them their due. Yep, yep. But don't follow their example, he says, for they don't practice what they teach. They crush people with unbearable religious demands and never lift a finger to ease the burden. And then he says this, everything they do is for show. Not good. This is not a good thing. Um, leaders are supposed to be really servants. They're supposed to set the example. They're supposed to say, here's how you do it, and, and, and they're practicing what they preach. And of course, we see hypocrisy. We see this in leaders nowadays. We see this kind of thing. And again, it's not good. It's not good. Leaders should be serving and one of the ways, I've mentioned it already, one of the ways that leaders serve is by doing their best, nobody's perfect, but doing their best to set the example in terms of the laws, the rules that they have established. Now, we don't always get to select the leaders in our lives. They're in certain areas of our lives. We may have leaders and we don't have much of a control over that. But when it comes to the leaders that we can pick, perhaps the leaders we can vote for, it's a pretty good idea, it's a general rule of thumb, to reject the hypocrite leaders.